Hello everyone, please welcome and join me in Sub's Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you a fish curry and I'm going to use steel head trout and it's going to be delicious and very tasty and it's easy to make. I'm going to use steel head trout and it's a frozen, it's a two pound. What I have done, it comes in individual pouches. I put it into the cold water and let it sit for five minutes then I remove the bags. Now all the ice has been come out of the fish. This one has a skin on. You can keep the skin on but when I make a curry I don't want skin on. So what I'm going to do, how to remove the skin, that part I'm going to share with you. I'm going to use two red onions. You can use any color. I'm going to use two fresh tomatoes, three green chili and it's going to be hot. One tablespoon ginger and I'm going to use minced garlic. Then I'm going to use a small amount of uh, lemon, like one teaspoon, you can use a fresh lemon. We're going to use olive oil and my secret ingredient, potato. While we going to prepare our third cup, I'm going to get a sandwich bag. You can use any plastic bag, that is perfectly fine. And I'm going to place it in the bag like this, put it on the plate. I'm going to stick it into my microwave oven. I'll press the potato and we're going to let it cook. And when to share it, that part I'm going to share with you. As for all the spices, I'm going to use the spices from my spice rack. So please check it out in the description below. And what we will do, I grab a knife. So I'll make a small pieces so it can fit into my chopper. So about the size is perfect. When we are making a fish curry, we want our fish curry to be real smooth in the texture. So basically, you know, I'm putting everything into food processor. So I'll cut it in half and I place it in my food processor. The green chili, just to remove the stems, the whole chili is inside. As for ginger, we just going to make a small pieces. That's good enough. We're going to use uh, olive oil and uh, I'm going to put uh, like a two tablespoon olive oil. We're going to make a smooth paste. It's all done. It does not take that long. The water has been drained and the fish, I'm going to take the skin off. I'm going to make a small cut. There is no more water on the fish. On the other side, our potato is ready. I'm going to cut into two pieces. Perfect. I wanted to keep these pieces big. So I'm going to get a bigger knife. So this will be perfect. So this is the last one. All the pieces are cut. I'm going to cook in fry pan. Get a fry pan and I'm going to start my gas. And I'm going to turn my fan on. I'm going to use one teaspoon olive oil. You can use any oil, any vegetable oil which you prefer. And I'm just going to turn around so it just basically it coats the bottom. Lay out in fry pan. We're going to cook the fish for two minutes on each side. The color is going to get changed. What's going to happen then? the skin gonna come out easily. So it's a one minute of cooking and now I'm going to bring uh, just a little amount of uh, red chili. This is strictly optional. If uh, you're not uh, like a hot food, then skip this part. 
and now little amount of salt like a pinch I'm going to turn the fish this is over now we're going to cook it on skin side skin side we're going to cook additional two minutes plus cheese little amount of red chili and little amount of salt cook for one minute I'm going to cook additional a minute or so since it has still water content it's going to spray out so it's better to put the lid down so another minute or so I'm going to turn off the gas we're going to let our steel head trout sit in the pan for a couple minutes by the time it will cool down and then we're going to dish out in a plate and then what I will do I'll remove the skin and then we'll prepare our third cup it's cooled down these pieces are nicely done you get a knife and just remove the skin just like that it's very easy it takes one second to remove it you can leave it on if you like it it's just a personal choice if you want to keep the skin on or if you want to take it out if it's uh, personally my decision I would love to have a crunchy skin because I enjoy it but my kids I noticed that they don't like the skin so what I do I basically take it out and I discard it I do the same thing with all the pieces I'll start the gas I'm going to use the same pan and I'm going to start the fan so in the same oil I will bring a one teaspoon cumin seed or minced garlic I'm going to use one tablespoon 20 30 seconds we're going to cook and then I'll bring my turka in and this is our turka and now it's really important that we're going to cook our turka for a good five minutes on high gas so I'll mix it I'm going to keep stirring every minute or so so I won't get burned at the bottom cooking our turka exactly five minutes and I'm going to bring all the spices I'm going to bring the gas to medium salt one teaspoon cumin powder one teaspoon grinder powder one teaspoon half teaspoon turmeric powder half teaspoon red chili powder half teaspoon curry powder we'll mix it well and we're going to cook all the spices with our masala for like a minute or so if there is a big pieces that won't be any problem once if there is a leftover pieces like this one we're going to break it to bring one cup of water and please use the hot water and we'll bring the gas on high now we're going to mix it well we had a one cup of water and the curry still looking thick and I'm going to use one more cup of water so all together two cup of water so I will mix it well curry you can make it according to your taste if you want it to run in gravy then you can add more water this one looking perfectly fine and I'll bring the gas to medium and we're going to cover with the lid and we're going to cook exactly five minutes cooking for five minutes with the closed lid on medium gas our fish is ready and I'm going to lay out the fish our gravy is looking really nice and I'm going to bring all the fish pieces our fish is cooked halfway so we are not going to disturb too much slowly with soft hands we're going to move the fish around and this is a perfect gravy now I'm going to bring the garam masala one teaspoon fenugreek leaves which is kasuri methi I'll bring one teaspoon give a good rub and we're going to sprinkle all over after adding garam masala and kasuri methi you can use a fresh lemon 
and we're going to use just a one teaspoon. Just very little amount, not too much. And now we're going to bring our gas to medium low, the setting between three and four, and we're going to cover with the lid, and we're going to cook it for 10 minutes. Our fish is cooked, curry is cooked, with the 10 minutes, the fish is going to absorb all the curry, all the flavor. So when you're going to eat it with each bite, it's going to taste really nice. This is the last ingredient, cilantro or cranberry leaves. I just cut into small pieces. Our fish is ready. It's uh, 10 minutes we are cooking our fish. And now what I will do, on medium low gas. I'm going to add the cilantro and our dish is ready and I'm going to mix it and I'm going to dish out. Our dish is ready, I'll turn off the gas and I'm going to dish out delicious fish curry. Mmm, delicious, it's very tasty. Our delicious fish curry is all ready and I'm going to share with you it's a steel head trout. Super tasty and super delicious. Let me close in. You can serve with roti, chapati, fulka, naan, paratha, and best of all, it's suitable with rice plough. Look at how tasty and delicious our fish curry. It's very easy to make and it's very tasty. Please try it and please comment below if you like it. And I'm going to see you soon with the new recipe. Best of all, easy steps cooking. Thank you. Bye-bye.